How great are you, Lord? The Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 22, How great you are, sovereign Lord. There is no one like you, and there is no God but you, as we have heard with our own ears. The desire of David's heart was to build a temple for the Lord, but he was required to forego the longings of his heart in favor of his son, whom God had decided would be the man to erect the house of God for his greater glory. God's call on David's life was to fight the enemies of his people and to establish peace in the promised land. King David was permitted to make preparations for the foundation of the temple, but the building and beautifying of the house of the Lord was to be carried out by his son, Solomon. God loves when we pray his promises back to him. Nothing pleases God more than to see his promises in our mouth, reminding him of what he has said, reminding him of the things that he has promised to us. And that kind of prayer, appropriating God's promises, is a special kind of prayer because we can remind him of his word. We can remind him of what he has said. But even though the promises have been made and the promises have been uttered by God, God makes things possible in the suddenlies of the kingdom of God. And today, Jesus wants to talk to us about those promises that are suddenlies and also that are surprises. I can attest to that. I've seen a lot of surprises from the Lord. I'm seated right now in my latest surprise the house that the lord gave me and i did not expect it i was hoping for it i was in i was in expectancy of it but at the moment in time was completely something that was very surprising and the way that the lord did it was very surprising and it was just it was like a gift. It was a gift in the month of my birthday. It was a gift that I wrote in my journal that this was the year that the Lord was going to give me the best birthday gift. And so the Lord does have promises that he fulfills. And I used to pray the promises back to him and I continue to do so I can pray the promises of his forgiveness I can pray the promises of his peace I can pray the promises of his guidance I can pray promises for the his the growth that I am doing in, in the things of God and all of that all of those promises have Bible verses attached to it, but there's also personal promises that he makes to us. And the Lord Jesus says to us today, the Father is full of surprises. Miracles are in his hands and an outpouring of the love in his heart. And he has countless promises and miracles and surprises prepared just for us. My child, you are blessed in ways that are unseen to you, 
unknown because you are unable to understand the Father's divine perspective, so you are called to faith. You can be grateful for the knowledge that you've been given that has offered you salvation. You can understand the heart's desires of the Father and He has chosen and called you to share in His plans for the kingdom. The joy that comes in following me will leave you speechless. The Father has great plans for your life and I am with you to lead you into them. In a world of empty promises, you might fall short of yours, but the Father is faithful. You can count on him. It's the universe and all that is in it that is being held together by his word. Nothing overrides or overcomes his promises. I am your tangible witness as to what the Father is like. He is steadfast and consistent, always always being who he is. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is never changing. He is ever present, promising to never leave you nor forsake you. No one can keep the Father's promises but him. No one can give his mercy but him. No one can bring about justice. Only the Father can. And he does all of these things through me. And he is more than worthy to be praised. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your promises and your surprises and the things that you do for your children, my Father. Thank you, O oh God, by the power of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and you, Abba Father, we bow down today in reference before you we praise you in hushed whispers because you have stooped down to the children of men you lifted us up and you seat us together with christ in heavenly places father god and we are not worthy to gather the crumbs under your table but you are great and your glory reaches into the extremity of the universe and in your love, you sought us out and made us accepted in the beloved. Thank you, O oh God. When all else fails, God, you never ever will fail us. You are holding the universe in the palm of your hand and you are holding on to us. You may, we may not be able to see what God is doing, but if we are breathing, Lord God, then we know that there's a purpose and a plan for each and every one of us, O oh God. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing joy to our life. Thank you for helping us extend and progress the kingdom of God, the, your kingdom, Lord God. Give us the joy of our salvation, my Father. Give us the joy, my Father, and let us return to the first love, to the day that we fell in love with Jesus. Help us to return to that day where we were on fire for Jesus, my Father. And we remembered so well everything that Jesus had done and Jesus was in the forefront of our minds and he was on the tip of our tongue and we were talking about Jesus all the time and and just boasting on him Lord God and we just thank you O God precious Savior in your name Jesus we pray and we exalt your name Jesus we exalt your presence in our lives we are so grateful. We are so thankful. We are so in reverence of you, my Father. And we just give you all the praise. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba. Amen. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this. Maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives. 
Send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.